Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Whatever else, your daddy was a God-fearing man, Travis. It ain't right no one came to pay respect. Says here, your daddy left just about everything to that preacher fellow on TV. Money and stock, mostly. Of course, you do get all the land. And he goes on to say, if you work hard, you just may make something of your life. And it says you get the family collectible. That would be your mother's embroidery, or this coin collection, and your mother's thimble. Don't know much about thimbles, but as I recall, it's an impressive coin collection. That's your daddy's ring, ain't it? Whew. Well, that's worth a heap of money. Maybe you'd like to keep it down at the bank. No. You know, your daddy showed me a couple of Confederate bills once. They ain't probably not worth anything, but uh, I'd be willing to pay top dollar. What do you say? No. Easy, Andrew. I'm starting to drool all over the judge's table. Now, he can't break up that collection. It's been in his family for over 100 years. Well, I thought I'd give it a shot. Is that all? Well, if you two will sign this, we'll get it done. Stairs fixed. Ugh. Bobby, what a surprise. You usually knock. Come on in. Uh, thought you might be thirsty. <sighs> Sorry about your dad. I'm on duty, I don't know. When you taking off? I don't know. Soon, I guess. That's good. You've been talking about it since high school, traveling the world, meeting exotic women. The way I see it, now's your big chance. As long as they're not women that know you. You talking about Chrissy Bodie again? God damn. I'm gonna talk. You know, she was hitting on me at the hoedown. I. She was my date. You gotta move fast. Don't move away. You'll never leave. You never know. Yeah, I think I do. Catch you later. <laughs> Lord, Lord, 
I think I'm lost. Kelly? I'm sorry. Travis. Please meet you, Travis. Could you help me? I was trying to get to Watkins. Watkins? <sighs> You're here, outside of Astonville. Watkins is there, 30 miles away. You know if there's a bus or anything around here? The train runs through town. You hungry? What? You hungry? Because if you are... I was just getting ready to have some lunch. And you can join me if you want. And then I can take you back into town after. If you're hungry. Okay, what are you eating? <laughs> well, I hadn't really thought about it till just now. Sleep? Four and a quarter hours. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Could you take me to town to get a room or a train or something? It's too late. I mean, I'm sorry I let you sleep so much. Oh. I guess I figured, uh, well, I figured that if it would be all right with you, that you could stay here tonight. It's a big house. All the rooms, the doors lock, and besides, I, I sleep in the hayloft. The hayloft? How come? I just do. My father lived in the house. Wow. Past collection. What is this? Winchester, 1894? 92, actually. You know guns? Yeah, they kind of run in my family. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mine too. It's good, you know, because we got them all over the house. Do you have to stay out in the hayloft? If you'd feel safer. I'd feel safer if you stayed in the house. I'm sorry? I'd feel safer if you stayed in the house. I'm 
Sure. I mean, okay. Your room is this way. Travis? You're a real gentleman. The station's just a little further up. So, what are you going to do when you get to Watkins? Ricky went there to be an actor at that um, dim theater, you know? The dim theater in Watkins? Yeah. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Well, I think it's been closed for a lot of years. Really? I'm pretty sure I, we used to go there as a, when I was a kid. Oh, uh, shit. When's the last time you talked to him? Well, we sort of broke up, you know, before he left, and I told you I was going to surprise him. Something? Come on. Mm -mm. If I have to fly back to London to cover for his incompetence, I, I will not be pleased. Mm -mm. Because I told you. Hey, Travis. Hey, Lou. Where's Earl? Oh, uh, he's kind of taking the day off. Oh. Can we get a couple of OJs, please? Coming right up. Hey, Travis, our TV is kind of acting up. Suppose you could have a look at it? Sure. Excuse me. Look, I'm sick and tired of you screwing things up when I'm not there to hold your hand. Well, you know you have to move quickly, otherwise the deal will fall through. It's a point you don't know. I know, yeah, sure you realize one. that, but if I'm not there, I can't let you... She's just passing through town. I suppose come. Well, I don't understand. I'm sorry, I don't understand all these things, and I'm professional with them. I don't. You're Travis Graham, aren't you? That's right. I'm Jodie Moore. I hear you're looking to sell some property in this area. That's my personal favorite. You sure to travel fast. Well, I'm looking to buy. So, do you think I could see your place? Well, there's really not much to see. You never can sell your house, are you? Depends on what she's offering. Oh, I'm sure I could make you a very attractive offer, Mr. Graham. Excuse me. Travis, didn't you say your great granddaddy built that house? You can't just step in. Look, I'm sorry, I barely know you. But I'll take it from somebody who's never really had much of a home or family. And you're gonna start to miss it. Miss Leader. That's right. I appreciate your interest, but I'm really not sure right now. Well, there's no harm in just taking a look, is there? I'll let you know. Nice to meet you. Okay. Small town. Nobody minds their own business. Travis, take your hat off when you're inside. <laughs> I'm sure, Bob. That's the show. I've never seen a sheriff without a gun before. He doesn't need one. Hey, Travis, you driving the Chevy to the hold down? Wouldn't be the same without an arrival from the Graham family. I hadn't thought about it. A hold down? 
I love hoedowns. Don't you have some place to go? Nowhere to go. No one to get there. Maybe you could use a hand around the ranch. Maybe. I tell you, it's one damn crazy world out there these days. You locked me in the damn cellar? Get out of this place! Get out of this place! This is my place, goddammit! Mine! Will you put that bat down? Fuck you, Girl! Girl, you put that bat down or I'm dropping you where you stand. I tried to home today, Sheriff. But he was out all night drinking. Oh, God, help me! Up Let, let's all calm down now. Earl, you're driving with your customers. You back down or you're going down. You better tell your son to get the gun. Out of my face, this is my place. I ain't fucking around. Put the gun down, Bobby. I said put the gun down. Now. Earl, my thick-headed jackass son's not listening to me. So what I'm going to do is walk over there and take his gun away. But I, I, I'm gonna need your help. I don't want you putting that bat upside my head now. Deal? Do it, Bob! Do it! I, I just don't want to get the gun. I'm not playing with you. Once I take that you gun, don't fuck with you'll be in don't fuck with you. Bobby, give me the gun. That really puts the bat down, sir. Deputy, you don't give me that gun. You can give me your badge. There, there, there you are, Earl. You're, you're, you're calling the shots now. Get him out of here, Bob. Mr. Yates would like you to leave his diner. What are you looking at? You know why he doesn't need a gun. These gloves are so big. Ew! You smell that? Yeah, something. Let's check it out. Oh my god. So sad. What happened? He must have got separated from his mom. Then the coyotes got to him. Poor baby. Excuse me. I'm gonna burn him up in the furnace. Burn it? 
Shouldn't we have buried it? Dogs would have just come and dug it up. thing, but it's a lot like Astonville. <laughs> I'm joking. Paris, Paris is breathtaking, but I personally prefer Venice. Ma'am? I'll tell you all about it when you let me take a look at your place. Well, it's like I said, I'm not so sure that I want to sell right now. Now, you don't want to sell, or your girlfriend doesn't want you to sell. Mm -hmm. What about your father? What about him? Well, for me, he loved that house very, very much. So? You know, it's a small town and people talk. From from what I gather, your father loved that house more than just about anything. I really should be gone. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just what I hear. Well, that's just folks talking about things that they don't understand. All the more reason to get away, don't you think? I'm staying at Tanner's Inn. It's not exactly the Savoy, but... I must admit, I'm used to getting what I want, Mr. Graham. And I'm not a patient woman. and Argo Dale Rimple. They're out of town for a while. Do me a favor. Remind me that I gotta feed their cat. Sure. So anyway, tell me more about Corpus Christi. Yeah, well, that's where I'm from originally, you know, Texas. In Milwaukee. <laughs> now, what was that? I lost dinner. Shotgun worse better than that. It's a tough shot, though. I just like to turn my luck. The stump to the left of the oak? That's a tough shot. Ah, rat flying. Steady hand. Crazy heart. Runs from that family.
It's okay. <laughs> What's this? The scar. From what? Don't think of it. Don't think of it. Don't think of it. Use your strength. I'm so irritated. Yeah, I was. Well, at least you didn't blind me. You didn't. I thought I was a bad kid, too. My uncle, buddy. me with a cigarette and I told him I didn't want him to touch me anymore. Family's gonna be so screwed up. Not when I have them though. I'm gonna be the best mom there ever was. Hi! Hey. I was on my way to see a property down the road, and I thought I'd stop by and say howdy. Howdy. Some car. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Is this a good time to look around? I really don't know. Sweetie pie. I found this under the gun case. What's it for? I don't know. You don't know?
Travis? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm... You're, you're handy with TVs, aren't you? Sure. Well, the one in my hotel room, you know, there's something wrong with it, and nobody's come by to take a look at it, and... Well, do you think you could spare the time just to have a quick look, please? Well, I really... Oh, come on. It'll take two minutes. Please, Travis. Please. Sure. Loose cable, just like with Hootie's. Really? Well, there's a coincidence. I, um... I'm actually reading something. I... I wrote this. I hold my hands so tightly together that they begin to sweat. The skin cracks and peels at the center of my palms. Two tiny baby chickens crawl out from the opening and stand, still wet, in my hands. One of them is true love, and the other is a big, fancy car. No, no it's, no, it's okay. You, you can laugh. It's, it's meant to have a sort of um, ironic humor. Hmm? I really shouldn't be laughing. No, no. Come and sit down. I hold a fascination with things that can corrupt a man. I don't understand. Mr. Antonus, on the island of Corfu. But uh, he called it by its Greek name, Kikira. I was only 19 years old, and he had to have been more than twice that. Mm, he taught me many things. Oh, 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 this one. This one is my favorite. I wrote it one miserable rainy night at the famous Café Helvelka in Vienna. Sit down. I took my birth control pill with vodka and went to bed. Now, what do you think I call that one? I don't know. Lost. Because I was back then. You see? I lied to you just now. It wasn't raining at all. It was a perfectly sunny Austrian day. My tears smeared, I think. do something about all of this.
do it. Trust me. Robert? Yeah, they robbed the bank out in Two Pines this morning. Let me tell her I got to look at the two inside, but not the driver. Where were you this morning? I'll see you later, Bobby. Travis. supposed to be in here. Oh, come on. I'm not hurting nothing. God, what are you, what's with the hairdo? It's so short. There's so much stuff in it. Turn around. Soak. What is this now? What's Kiki? Me, Kelly, Kiki, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, my sister, my sister did that. Can I call you that? No. Maybe you can come up along with me, can you? Okay. What about... my London deal and I I had nobody to celebrate with so I so I, we're so we're celebrating and I'm doing a little cleaning <laughs> around the house <laughs> aren't you going to congratulate me congratulations I congratulated you already thank you thank you both <laughs> I guess now you can get that look at my place that you've been meaning to oh so, no no no, no. I didn't no. look. She didn't. Yeah, that's true. She did not look, and I just said no talking about that. That's right. No. Absolutely no business. Just pleasure. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. No, you said it was fast. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Oh! What? Shh! Come on! Come on! You didn't tell you. Stay here. Stay here. I'll be right back. Devil affair. We're scared, Travis. It's dark and there are fleas with mice. Open. Beer or whiskey? Beer and whiskey. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, drinks. For the... Oh, music! Wait, I'm a... Oh, wait, no, let me get my... Oh. What do you got wrong? Listen to you. I'm gonna get country and rock and roll and song with a guitar in it. What? Don't. I have to go.
told you your hair would look better. Hmm? Now, look at you. Two women on your hands. Hmm? What are you going to do with this bug, Travis? Don't do this. Oh, come on. Please don't. He were you. <laughs> Morning. Where's Jolene? She got up early. And just in that, huh? forces me to do things I don't want to do. Oh, it was nice. Almost natural. I was thinking, as long as Jolene's in town, maybe she could stay here. Throw me in the motel. Are you serious? Why not? I mean... <laughs> Because of last night, it'd be fun to have her, to be like our own little family. Morning, Travis. Morning. Morning, Travis. Morning. Usual? Yes, please. On the floor, fat boy! I said, get down, Lord A! No heroes here. Isn't that right, Andrew? You! Open that drawer! Give me the money! Cop! Incoming! Let's go! Get out of my fucking way!
Don't fight me! Don't fight me, baby! Don't! Well, looky here. Daddy's home. Just in time. Cause I'm fixing to fuck her. Prophet. No, you son of a bitch. You drop it. This sweet little bitch! She's gonna be one big fat greasy stain on your carpet! Comprende? Driving. She ran off down across the road. I don't know what they were doing, but they were arguing pretty bad. You all right? You okay? I mean, you, you don't feel bad or sad or nothing? Yeah. I'm okay. God. I should I feel bad. He's trying to hurt me now. He's. It's his fault. He's. Oh, I got a call, Bobby Jr. No. Yeah, I really got. No, 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 Baby, think about what just happened here. I gotta call Bobby Jr. No. He can take care of all of this. No, it's over. We don't have to go. We don't have to come Calm down. It's gonna be okay if I just call Bobby Jr., all right? No, 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 no. Please, let's. Ow! Ow! We don't, we don't have to go. If you and me mean anything, we'll keep this between us. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. I found him in their car. I really should go and take care of him. When I'm done. told anyone this before. Three years ago, this man, my neighbor, came over to borrow some sugar. So he said, when I went to the kitchen to get it, grabbed me by the hair and bit me over the kitchen table. And I couldn't. <sighs> he lifted my dress and he cut off my underwear with his pocket knife. Said he'd cut me too if I moved. I heard his zipper, and he got on top of me. And I reached and I clawed on that table, and I 
When he dropped his knife, I grabbed it. He slapped me in the head. I cut his arm. And he fell forward on top of me on the floor, and I kept sticking him over and over and over. Then he died. They said I was a bad girl from a bad family anyway, so I must have asked for it. And he gave his 10% to the church, so that meant he was good. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Daddy didn't believe me either, so they were going to stick me in this jail for kids with psychiatrists, but my sister took me away. She said... Nobody fucks with family. The cops around here will think I asked for it again. You know what I mean? Nobody has to know about what happened here tonight. Your next partner. Hi. What are you doing? Just fixing a few things. What? Just things. Well, well, hurry up and come inside because I've got a surprise for you. Okay. Okay? How long? A few minutes, I'll see you inside. All right. Don't be long.
Can't be right. There's only seven thousand dollars here. What? That's it. Just the money from the bank in town. Where's the rest from the other robbers? I don't know. <laughs> well, th they probably stashed it after each hit. You know, in case they got caught, they'd have it for later. Guys, I, I can't believe all this stuff. What? Nothing. I mean, just the plans for their next job. It's Maps, time schedule, that they were gonna hit the bank up in Hurley. So? I was just thinking that maybe, maybe we could do what they were planning to do and then dump the car. I mean, yet no one would be any the wiser. <laughs> what? You're not serious. <laughs> Why not? Because we're not bank robbers, that's why not. Let me tell you something, Travis Graham. I've been a million different things in a million different places. I've experienced things you've never even dreamed of. And I didn't get to experience them by playing it safe. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. come on, Travis. Live for once. Mm, what if we get caught? But, but we won't get caught. This is the perfect opportunity. The, the real robbers are dead, right? And we're the only ones that know that. We've got their car, and we have alibis for the other robberies. All we have to do is get away clean. Let's do it. Not you. Why not me? I'm a good driver. Travis, it, it says right here that after shift change, there's only two tellers and one guard. The manager's at lunch. So we're in and out clean. Didn't you ever play cops and robbers when you were a kid? Didn't you? Yes. OK. Oh, wait. Let me guess. Bobby Jr. played the cop, and you played the robber. Am I right? Yes. Bobby Jr. laughs at you, Travis. The first time I met him, that day in the diner when he told me that you might want to sell some property, he made a complete mockery of you. Now, I'd have thought you might want to turn the tables for once. You're out of your mind, you know that? Okay. Fine. I mean, we're going to do it, with or without you. 
It'd be a lot easier with you, but... Oh. Come on, Kelly. <laughs> we'll do it. I just need a minute to think. What you got to think about? Come on. It'd be a good story for our grandkids, god dang it. Rob the bank. Rob the bank. Rob the bank. Rob the bank. This is crazy. <laughs> Fuck you, Kelly! Money! I'm sure Kelly's gonna get 
for the money, which is what that cause is after. Back it off! Hey! It's just for the kick of it! For the sex of it! Sorry to wake you, Travis. No problem. What's up? Another robbery. Guard got shot. Really? Yeah. Strange, you know, the roads around Hurley got closed off pretty quick. They're definitely still in the area, though. You haven't seen or heard anything, have you? No. Those girls with you here? Uh, Jolene and, uh... Kelly. Kelly. Hey, uh... I'm gonna need to talk to them. Sure. Were they around here today? Working with me all day. Why? Uh, it's just that a, a witness from the, uh, the robbery out in Two Pines said that there was a woman in the gang of three. And I, uh, what do you know about this, this Jolene, anyway, this, this real estate lady? She's all right. Look, um, what difference does it make? I mean, I just got through telling you that she was working with me here all day. Right. Right. Robert? All right. I miss him, Travis. I miss him. Well, your daddy was a good man and a good sheriff, too. I just want to do him proud. You know, I just want to... Damn it. How do you get rid of this feeling, Travis? Things were different between me and my father. Right. But you be careful, Travis. These people don't seem to think too much about killing. Go home and get some sleep, Bob. I'll call you if I hear anything. Thanks, Travis. last night. Sorry. 
you know, about. Whatever. You hurt her. Did you hear me, Travis? I said you hurt her. Come on, Jolene. What am I supposed to do? I told her I was sorry. Huh? Bobby, do you need to come in? <sighs> Shit! What's up? We're covering the area. We narrowed it down to your property in the Salisbury's just north, down to Jane's parcel to the west, and uh, Dalrymple Place across the way. Wow, you think they're still around? Yeah, we're pretty sure. Old dog Murphy saw a black car traveling the Harvest Trail just a couple miles from where Sheriff Knight's deputy got run off the road. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're here. They're hiding out somewhere. Listen, Travis, I'm gonna need you to take me around your place, you know, out to the lake. Granddaddy's moonshine shack, any place that you think they might be hiding. No problem. Can you hold on just a second? Yeah, I'll be in a truck. Hurry up. Fuck. He wants to see the back 20. He might want to come in here and look around to hide everything. Wait. the guard from the bank in Hurley. Dead. He lost too much blood. Now for quiet, Travis. Something you want to tell me? Nope. You sure? Yep. You did it, didn't you, Travis? Hmm? Did what? You doing one of those girls or what? Well, you do what you can. <laughs> Look at you. Get a little pussy, you turn into an asshole. <laughs> I guess it's my turn now, huh? You jealous? Jealous. Hey, look. There. Fred, Fred, I got him. Yeah, I'm in pursuit of the Black Plymouth. He's headed around the lake on the Graham property, headed north. Cut him off the highway. Put up your earth. looking around on the other side of the lake. You almost got us caught. You almost fucked up everything. Hillbilly cops start to look there. 
Roger that, Fred. We got him pinned down at Travis's or the Dalrymple place. I'm sure of it. I'm going to double check Travis's. You take the Dalrymple's. Over. Jolene, you can come out now. I got rid of Bobby Jr. Jolene! $30,000. Samuel Graham died, survived by only living relative his son Travis. Sweetheart, I said you can put that gun away. Bobby Junior's after you. What? Jesus, I told you. He has nothing to do with those other robberies. Then you're the driver! The 
bank job in Hurley. That was her idea. That was your idea! It was just for kicks. Shit. You practically came in your pants. You are really fucked. Nobody fucks with the family. <laughs> Thank you. Staying at these same four walls And it's all that I can do To keep myself from crying While I'm trying to forget you Supposed to set aside our memories No, I couldn't if I tried Is there any way across the great divide there's a valley between us, so deep and so wide. Is there any way across the great divide? If I'd been home to listen, all you wanted was to be heard. I know I could have calmed your fears. But I never said a word 
Is it? 